In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about a topic that quite a few people have brought up in the comments. That is, my weird hands. Now, before we get started, I want to explain that whilst this used to be a sensitive topic for me, it's no longer so. Not at all. I used to get quite upset if anyone mentioned it in any way, but I've since made the conscious decision to accept that this is just part of who and what I am. So there's no point worrying about it or what people think of it. Also, most people who even mentioned it are just curious. You saw a thing, you asked a question. Maybe in a way that was a bit blunt, but curiosity is to be cherished. So I'm going to say, you did nothing wrong, stay curious. And for those few who, rather than curious, were rude or insulting, well, here's why I can choose not to be affected, because why should it ever be my problem or concern that some other person is a complete ass? So anyway, my hands look weird, they really do. And I think there are three main reasons for that, and I will deal with them in ascending order of complexity. The first one is just simple camera perspective. Now my hands themselves are definitely weird for reasons we'll get to in a moment, but the camera distorts things depending on how close they are to the lens. And this top-down rostrum camera view I have in many of my videos doesn't help that. So whilst my thumbs look merely unusual in this position, when I turn them like this, my thumbs may look freakishly large on camera. The second reason is that for several decades of my life I had a severe nail biting habit and I think this has probably permanently damaged the appearance of my fingers, shortening the nail bed I suspect. I stopped this habit a couple of years ago and my nails have recovered a bit, but they will never be either beautiful, strong or particularly functional. You might have noticed that on the Weird Stuff in a Can series I lift the tabs of drink cans with a teaspoon or knife, because my fingernails are not really up to the job, even now. This is not, by the way, my reason for using a can opener on pull tab cans of food. That's just because I don't like how pull tab cans work. And at the same time, I do love utensils such as can openers. Anyway, nail biting is at least a small part of the cause of my hand weirdness. If you have this habit yourself, I would encourage you to do anything you can to stop it as soon as you can. Like stop making it worse straight away now. You can do this because I did. The third reason for my weird hands and the most significant is possibly the most interesting. I genuinely have weird hands. My fingers are relatively short, which in turn makes them look fat, or in the absence of scale cues, sometimes makes them appear gigantic. Having a tiny little dog probably doesn't help with this illusion. Strangest of all are my thumbs. I have short, broad thumbs, and that's not all. If you notice how my thumbs move, you could be forgiven for thinking they're missing a joint. Take a look at your own thumb right now where it joins your palm. You most likely have a joint there that allows you to fold your thumb right into your palm. Mine doesn't fold like that. The joint is there, but on both hands it only has about 10 or 15 degrees of mobility. So there's a shortening of hand bones and partially seized or immobile joints, symmetric on both hands. And now this is just an armchair diagnosis, but what I'm looking at here could be some form of a condition called brachydactyly. I've not yet pursued a formal clinical diagnosis to confirm this or to diagnose the actual cause, but I will because some forms of brachydactyly are genetic and have other associated risks that can be managed if they're recognised. I don't actually think I have one of those bad or dangerous forms, but I will get this checked out. Anyway, it would be kind of cool if I can do a follow-up to this video, including some x-ray imagery. It's highly unlikely that any kind of corrective surgery could do anything about my thumbs or hands now, and even if it could, I don't think I'd bother. These are the hands I grew up with, and I'm used to them now. It barely causes me any problems. I'll never be a concert pianist, but there are other things to be busy with. In truth, the biggest real problem this has ever caused me in life is when I was a boy, I couldn't very easily make my thumb and little finger touch to form the scout salute. I always had to put my hands behind my back first so that I could use my left hand to force the fingers in my right hand into position. Nowadays, I can still force them to do that, but they won't stay like it for a salute. The other small problem is that my thumbs don't have the mobility for thumb typing on a typical smartphone keyboard, so I tend to hold the phone in one hand and type with one or two fingers of the other hand. So now you know everything about my weird hands. At least, you know as much as I do. I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.